Hey folks, Paul Ragsdale here with Team Fat Boys. The other day I got a phone call from Jason Athena asking me if I wanted to go on a, a catfish and run course. I didn't hesitate to tell him, yeah, I would. And I was supposed to help a buddy of mine, uh, Ray, work on his shed. But being that these opportunities don't come but once every so often, I decided to uh, go ahead and play hooky and go with Jason. I, I talked to Ray here yesterday, and he understood, said that uh, he would have done the same thing. But uh, anyway, November 17th, and that, that marks a day. Uh, not only did I caught my personal best, but I'd done it twice. And uh, after Jason maneuvered the boat into the area there, and it's, it's a top secret. I'm sworn to secrecy. Uh, he got the lines faded up. We got them all cast out. And uh, within 15 minutes, uh, the rod, I mean, just bends over. And uh, uh, so I start cranking it down a little bit. And I get it out of the rod holder. And uh, the fish kind of came in, didn't fight a whole lot, wasn't sure what I had a hold of, but uh, it sure didn't feel like the way that pole first bent. So I get him up towards the side of the boat, and that cotton picker, he no more got to the side of that boat, and he said, uh-huh, I ain't having it. And he went around and did a nose dive, got up behind the prop of the boat, and and we're fighting, trying to get it out from around the prop of the boat. And Jason's sitting there with a net, trying to trying to catch him. We finally get him to the uh, the left side of that motor there. And and Jason reaches down, scoops that thing up, and oh my God, man, I cannot believe the size of that catfish. And that thing was 53 pounds, guys. And I'm like, I'm cheesing. I'm I'm just tickled man and old Jason just tickled with me because uh, I caught my personal best and that's what we went out there for and uh, boy howdy I tell you what man I was like this thing's huge so I throw it out uh, about 15 minutes later here come another pole just bend over woof and uh I, I got it out of the holder, started cranking on him a little bit. Sure enough, he started coming in towards the boat a little bit. About 10, 12 feet from the boat, he decided he was going to nosedive, and he started reeling him a little drag. And uh, I fought him, get him back up there, and uh, get him up the side of the boat. And Jason grabs that net, scoops him up. And uh, I'm telling you what, man, that just blew my mind. You know, that was, I think that was a 63, 63, 67. 63 pounder. And I mean, I'm just giggling, man. I'm just, Jason's excited. I'm excited. Shook his hand, fist pump, big old hug, man. I just, oh man, I had a great day. And uh, here in a few minutes, I'm going to uh, post these here inside the video so you can see the size of this tank, man. Now, I know there's bigger fish out there, and I know there's people who's caught bigger and and all that good stuff. But you know what? You're not going to take this away from me. This is one once-in-a-lifetime fish, you know. This is a, a, a 56 and 63-pounder. I may not ever catch that again. Even if I go out with Jason a hundred times, I may not be able to do that. I mean, it's 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 just amazing to me, the size of the fish. And I, I got one with both of them on my lap, and I got home and all that slime all over my, my coveralls, and my old lady says, uh-uh, take them off. So I had to take off my dang coveralls and my britches, before I could even get in the house. I'm just glad I live out here in, in the country. But anyway, Jason, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I will never, ever 
forget you getting me this experience. Anyway, thanks a lot, Jason. And remember, guys, if you ain't fishing, you ain't living.